I'm Jen with Rain Ranchers and today I'm going to go over the components of your rainwater harvesting system. As you can see, the first step, of course, is our gutters and our downspout. So we want to make sure that those are clean and debris free. Be sure and check them in the spring bud and the fall drop. So the first step, of course, is your gutter to your downspout. And then we go from our downspout into our inlet pipe. This inlet pipe also needs to be clean and debris free so water can flow on into your tank. The second step is this inlet screened basket that each tank has. As you can see, there is some things here. Be sure and just clean it out. Also inspect this stainless steel screen for any holes or cuts. Um, you don't want any leaves or any mosquitoes or any other bugs to get into your water. The second step or the third thing would be your rainwater tank itself. It is 200 gallons. On a thousand square feet with one inch of rain, you can catch 600 gallons. Again, this is a 200 gallon rainwater tank. The next thing I would like to discuss is you have two different spigots here. Why is that? Well, one is raised because it pulls from a cleaner water, water level. Like I said, you could get some sludge and leaves, so you may it may impede this one a little bit. So this one just pulls from a cleaner water level. These two adapters here are for water hose connections. So you can either fill up with your bucket or attach your water hose. The next thing is make sure these are always in an X. That's off. When they're in line, it's on. So if you do hook up your water hose and run it over and you leave it on, make sure you turn it back off. Another thing is you notice this tank is raised. Why is that? Every foot you raise your tank, you get half a pound of pressure. Each school is mainly using gravity, so that goes a long way. So every foot you go up, you get half a pound of pressure. The next important thing is this is non-potable water. What do you think that means? You can't drink it. It is non-potable water. So. Teachers, if your tank does not have this sticker, please contact uh, Real School Gardens and we will get you one. This is very important. Children, do not drink this water. Lastly is the overflow. You're catching all of this roof space into this one little tank. When your tank fills up, where's that water gonna go? It's gotta go to the overflow. Now this one is on the back and it just, um, you either will have a pipe coming in and, and out so inspect that, make sure that that's clog free, but this one is a little unique. It's just going right into this existing drain. Um, other than that, that's your rainwater tank in a nutshell.